Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. What's this shirt say? Ain't nothing but a smunchy junkie. <laughs> this is my nerdy nut shirt. Isn't this funny? Well, good morning, everyone. It is 8 o'clock, and we are up and going to get ready for the day. So, I have a worker coming over here around 10, so I'm not going to go to the gym today. Maybe I'll go later, maybe I won't. <laughs> this face soap is like my favorite as of right now. I've been using it every single day. It is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Face Soap. And then I put in my contacts because I can't see. <laughs> And then I like to use the Sephora C Plus E Serum on my face every morning. This stuff just feels so good. It's cold when you put it on. Mmm. Just rub it all in there. And then this would be the time to use your Gua Sha if you have one, which I sometimes use my Jade Roller. I prefer to use it at night when I use a night serum too. But if you want to use it in the morning, if I'm like feeling puffy, I will use it. Here's her. She's sitting in the sun. This is her spot every single day. <laughs> and Mochi. They love the sun. Yeah, it's getting warm out. We've been having fun going on long WALKs and playing ball. Mochi loves playing ball in the yard. So every morning, I like to start off at my desk and I do all my emails. See what kind of stuff I got going on, check my calendar, and just kind of plan my day. Um, and then I like to read my life hack of the day. So I actually forgot to do the last, like, what's today? The 11th? 12th. Okay, so today's life hack is always sign original documents in blue. That way there's never a question as to which document is the original and which is a copy. Let's read the other ones I missed. You can increase your fuel efficiency by 10% by replacing an old air filter. You can increase it by 25% by removing your rooftop cargo box. Okay, we don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> Getting a second opinion from a contractor. Don't tell them they're your second choice. That way you'll get a legitimate second quote without any influence. Oh yeah, we know that. If you ever get lost in a city, the best person to ask for directions is someone walking a dog because you know that they are most certainly from the area. That's a good one. Worry that someone is following you? Make four right or left turns. This will let you, let you know pretty quickly if you are being tailed. I love reading this thing. So I have this little booklet in my Amazon storefront in the office section. But yeah, I, I think that's interesting. So I'm sitting here drinking out of my new Starbucks cup I got. And it just like, this was the water from last night that I filled up. So it's, it just doesn't hit the same as drinking from the Stanley. Like it tastes kind of bad. Like it tastes plasticky. I'm so used to drinking from my Stanley cup. Like I need to just refill this and put ice in it. But the Stanley like would have still tasted great from the night before is what I'm saying. This is a really cute cup though. Hey Miss Hershey. Where is she? Your name is in Hershey. Hi, at least you look at me. <laughs> Hershey is ignoring me. Mochi, are you a pretty girl? Hershey, are you a pretty girl? Oh, I love my doggies. Okay, I just finished up some laundry. <laughs> There is not much room in my laundry room at all. Like, I can't even really set up the camera. So I have to, like, shut my door just to get my my dryer open. Here is my cute little laundry bin from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those. But I just put all my laundry back in the bin, and then I fold it all up and do all that in my closet because there is no room in here. I washed my dad merch. For the first time, still amazing quality. So I'm the type of person to literally wash absolutely everything, just with everything. Like I don't do towels separate, I don't do underwear separate. I do all the colors together. And guess what? 
I've never had an issue. I just don't have enough laundry to do separate loads like that. It's just like a waste of water and a waste of detergent because... I mean, I reuse my same towel for like a week or so because I'm clean out of the shower. Like, I know some people will like wash it after every single use of the towel, which I think that is just like a waste. But I mean, it's all up to you. It's up to, it's your preference and how, how often you want to do laundry. I probably only do laundry like four times a month. So I just fit in as much as I possibly can. And it's worked out for me pretty much so far. I've never, knock on wood. I've never ruined any clothes with like the dyes and colorful short shirts. The only thing, sometimes like my Lululemons get nasty, uh, but I think I'm just not really a fan of Lululemon leggings. I feel like they get very nasty after a few washes, but I know you're not supposed to put them in the dryer, which I do, so. But like I got nowhere else to hang them. All right, I had to get the Stanley cup, and as soon as I grab this cup, Mochi comes and sits over here. She knows. That means she gets an ice cube. So this thing holds like five cups of water. Like you have to stand here for a minute while it fills up. But I love that because then you don't have to fill it up as often and you drink more water. It's just nice. So I think it's worth the hype. So I fill it all the way up and then I don't usually put ice in my water. But I will today, since it's like a hot day out, I'm just going to do one of these balls. <laughs> Oops. Go get it. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> so cute. Look at this new Frenchie pillow I got from Urban Outfitters. I am obsessed. It's so artsy. I feel like it goes really well with like my plants and like the vibe I have going on. You're like a cheap doggy. I don't have to even give you treats. I could just give you ice. And it keeps her hydrated. She loves it. So I got crumble cookies yesterday and this week was so delicious. So I ate a lot of the cookie butter one and the cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll was so good. This one was really good too. Not a huge fan of this one, but I like slowly eat them throughout the week because they are very dense and sugary, but I recommend getting these too, 100%. Those might be in my top five favorite cookies I've had. Also got my nails done yesterday. I am obsessed. I always just get like nude colors. She was doing the dip powder and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like exactly like my skin tone. But they turned out really pretty and I just like a natural look, but like still having them look nice. So I never really get pops of color. And when I do change it up and get like some color, I always end up hating it. Like after like a week, I just get so sick of it. So that's why I like these. And then I painted my own toes pink and look, it's already chipping. So that's why I love getting my toes done at the salon because it doesn't chip so easily. And I like how they like, you know, get all the dead skin off. I love it, but I also hate it because I don't like my feet being touched and it just tickles and it kind of hurts when they shave off like the bottoms of your foot. I kind of look tan from yesterday. I took the dogs, which has to go outside. Oh my gosh, it feels wonderful out here. Oh, it feels so good and it's still so early and I'm in the shade and it feels so good. We are definitely gonna take them on a long walk today in shorts. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little bit of makeup today. I'm using the CeraVe lotion. So since it's like starting to get warm out, I don't like doing as heavy of makeup and I don't plan filming anything for my main channel today. I have to film an ad for my Instagram and then I'm vlogging. And then I'm just gonna be kind of like, I don't have any plans like with friends or to do anything later, so. I'm just gonna be like filming and working and stuff like that. And since the weather is gonna be warm, I don't want too much makeup on. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the Selena Gomez tinted moisturizer. So this has 20 SPF in it. So perfect for today. If anything, I burn right here on my cheeks under my eyes. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit on my T-zone. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. I love this t-shirt, like I really do. 
I don't have many t-shirts. Like if my friends spend the night and they want to borrow a t-shirt to wear to bed, like I have no t-shirts, which is so, everyone's like, what the hell? Like you have all this clothes, but you don't have any t-shirts. And I'm starting to finally get t-shirts. Nerdy Nuts sent this one to me. And then I have the dad t-shirt merch that I made. And I've been like wearing it to bed and like lounging around. And wow, it's like so comfy. I don't know why I didn't have any t-shirts. Like, <laughs> I'm always cold, so I just prefer to wear hoodies, but a t-shirt feels so good like to walk around with no bra like To clean and stuff in because obviously if you're doing laundry and cleaning like a hoodie you get so hot in after like two minutes So I finally I'm getting some t-shirts. So after that is on I'm just gonna use a little bit of the powder rare beauty I'm using all rare beauty at the moment Love her stuff what are you doing? <laughs> They're both chewing on the same bone. Mochi's belly finally grew back from her spay. Her hair took so long to grow back. Yeah, your belly's all good. Now I'm gonna just use a little bit of bronzer. This is Well People. It has like a little bit of a shimmer in it, which I like. Good for summer. We are doing some NARS blush in the shade Deep Throat. <laughs> Deep Throat. They always have like great names for for this brush. And then I've I've been loving this Fenty Beauty highlight. I love it. It's in the shade Diamond Bomb. They have like a few different shades, but I got this one, and it is just so pretty. So I like to put a little bit on my highlight cheekbone, and then a little bit on the tip of my nose, and then on my eyelid. You can't see it too much on the camera. But just wait until I like show you guys in the sunlight and in the inner corner. And then we are going to curl our lashes with my favorite eyelash curler ever. This is the Tweezer Man one. I have it linked in my storefront. It really makes a difference with what eyelash curler you use. Like you could buy an expensive one from Sephora and it will not work. But this one for like $10. It really curls them and then it makes your eyelashes look so much longer like you can just tell right here like you can actually see my lashes and the side like they go straight out and then I'm gonna just use a little bit of the rocket waterproof mascara look at the difference and then I'm gonna do the other eye and then I think I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip liner and some chapstick. This is my favorite lip pencil. It is MAC in the color Dervish. Dervish, what kind of word is that? And then I'm actually gonna do a little bit of this Hydro Lip Gloss. By Well People. And then let's brush this vein. See, it's not it's not bad to brush. And it kind of keeps its like wave. So I don't even have to curl it that often. Okay, it is all brushed out. And I still have two more days until wash day. I'm doing every Friday. Um, so I'm going to use a little dry shampoo because I do notice there's a little bit. I do have a little bit of greasy hair this time, which last week I made it the full seven days and like I felt like I could still go longer. This week it's a little greasy. Maybe it's because it's getting warm out and I also went to the gym the other day. Stuff like that, so we are using that up at the top where my natural hair is. I can even almost like wear a headband or something today. Should I wear a headband? Change it up? So I could do black, tan. I got this whole set on Amazon too. I do not know what color shirt I'm gonna wear, but I feel like I feel like one of these will go with like everything. I think I'm gonna do this one. I had the craziest stream ever last night. I was like hanging out with these like football or basketball players. Isn't that like random? Like, and it felt like a never-ending dream and then I think when I woke up and I went back to sleep the dream continued I was like hey basketball players <laughs> they were like seven feet tall 
Okay, I just actually ended up taking a quick body shower because I needed to shave my legs. <laughs> Shorts weather now, so I need to shave my legs. But I'm wearing this top. I've had this one for a while, and it looks like there's a stain on it. But... Oh well, I guess. It's from Zara. These are new shorts I got from American Eagle Airy. So, I really like them. They have a stretchy band, which is so comfy. And then I'm still just wearing my slippers because I have like all wood floors and my feet kill if I don't wear slippers. So, I always just wear these around the house, which these are from Express, but I got them like years ago, so I don't know if they still have them. Just try to get the stain out with this Tide stick, which this thing usually works wonders. So we'll see. I hope it comes out because I like this shirt. <laughs> okay, guys. We are going to make some yogurt for breakfast. This is my favorite kind. It's too good. Two grams of sugar vanilla Greek yogurt. So I always shake it up before I open it because you know how yogurt has that, like, water on the top. So if you shake it, it gets rid of that. And I'm going to add some banana to it, which I always cut my bananas from upside down. Supposed to get rid of all those like stringy peels. And I usually only cut up half of the banana. And then yesterday, the other half of my banana, I smashed into their lick mats, which I'll show you guys. So here's their lick mats. See, I smushed bananas in there and then also did some water so they can lick the ice. And then they each have their own lick mat. And sometimes I put peanut butter in there too or Greek yogurt. Okay, I cut up some strawberries as well. And then I like to add granola. I like knead granola with my yogurt because I'm not a huge fan of yogurt's texture. So as long as I have granola or fruit in every bite, then I can eat it. And then I'm also just going to do some chia seeds. And then I like to top it off with these organic unsweetened coconut chips from Trader Joe's. They are so good. So I just do a little sprinkle of those. Oops. And then I always share some banana with the puppies. Mochi scarfs it down and Hershey's always like, eh. <laughs> Hershey! She's like, ready to go. You gotta be quicker than that. Here's a small piece. Don't take Hershey's. Hershey doesn't like it, she just, <laughs> okay. All right, it is noon and we are taking the doggos on a walk. So, I have my fanny pack. I recently started carrying a fanny pack on walks with me, lifesaver. Especially if you don't have pockets in your pants. Put your phone in here, I have little baggies, which I kinda wanna bring like a little fold up um, water bottle bowl too, but I don't know if I have a water bottle. Just got back from a walk. Oh my goodness, are you a happy girl? Hershey, are you a happy girl? So I just finished, oh wow, I kind of look like I got tan out there. Oh, I'm so happy the weather is becoming warm. I am so excited. But I just finished up doing some editing on my phone for an ad I'm doing. So I want to give you guys some tips if you want to try and edit on your phone, if you don't have a laptop or you don't have a program to use for a laptop or don't want to buy one, you know. Sometimes it's nice to just have a free software, especially if you're just getting started. So I really recommend the app InShot. This is what it looks like, and it has like the timeline, like any other video software, and you can easily just like split your clip, delete it, you could zoom in on some, add music, add stickers, add filters, text, basically anything. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That is the program I use if I'm editing on my phone, stories, TikToks. So I just had a box delivered. I'm like, what, what did I get? I didn't order anything. Oh my gosh, McDonald's sent me a package. Look! So in it, they wrote me a card and said, Hey Steph, thanks for sharing your well done McNuggets hack with us on TikTok. That crunch was one for the ages. Here's a little something to celebrate your new status as queen of crunch, along with coupons for extra crunchy McNuggets on us. Ah, I love it, look at my McNuggets coupons. One free six piece chicken nugget. They sent me so many. I am so excited. I haven't had lunch yet. I only had yogurt this morning, so <laughs> nothing crazy. I'm going to McDonald's now. Look, they sent me a sweatshirt. I have been labeled by McDonald's as Queen of Crunch. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love this. Aww. See, they're the best. Like, McDonald's team is seriously so nice. 
like they are really McDonald's and Taco Bell are the only companies that have ever sent me stuff and I film and try all their new stuff all the time and McDonald's has always sent me stuff and then Taco Bell has a long time ago they have it in a long time but like McDonald's team is just amazing so I went and got <laughs> My free six piece chicken nuggets wearing my Queen of Crunch shirt. So good. Mmm. The hot mustard is definitely my favorite at the moment. And the ranch, that's what I got. But I actually am only using the hot mustard. Got them well done. This is the only way to order them. I forgot to order them like this in my mukbang. But I was also ordering like a ton of other stuff. So I didn't want to like wait just for the chicken nuggets. But if you're just getting an order of chicken nuggets. Well done. Makes them so hot. So crispy. You have to listen to me. I have been labeled by McDonald's as the queen of crunch. <laughs> So good wow I was really craving some lunch and I honestly don't have many groceries at home it's two o'clock right now so this is my lunch just a six-piece nugget and now we are going to head to grandpa's cheese barn it is a whole entire barn full of cheese crackers all that good stuff so that's where we're going next. It's about 25 minutes away. We made it to Christmas Cheese Barn, and it says they also have deli meat. Maybe I'll get some deli meat and like bread and bread. You guys, it is cheese heaven in here. I have got way too many. <laughs> I need to put some back, but look, garlic cheddar. Maybe I'll get rid of just the regular cheddar. I heard this espresso one is so good. Um, sriracha gouda, I definitely want. Bacon ranch sounds so interesting. There is just so much stuff. Like, it all looks so good. Garlic and herb dip mix. Could make it into a little ball. I'm only, like, 30 minutes away from this place. So, like, I don't need to buy a ton of stuff. I need to just get, like, a few things. I'm also making someone a little gift basket. I ordered online, like, a custom cheese board and then I wanted to pair it with like a couple cheeses and a bottle of wine so that's kind of why I came here okay just got done there that was successful I got a decent amount of things and my total was a hundred dollars which honestly is not that bad because grocery stores around me you can get one block of cheese for like $15 and what I got was like a lot she packaged it all up nicely in the bag so I will unbox it once I'm home and I'll show you guys everything I got okay we are back cheese haul so that place was literally a cheese heaven I cannot wait to go back there every holiday when I make a cheese board I'm going there to get my cheese I usually just get it at like the grocery store whatever I find but so first I got some garlic bagel chips I got two bags and I went through every single bag because some of them were cracked and I found two that looked good I was like literally going through every single bag I probably looked crazy I got those and then I got these garlic sesame Chicago flats and then for the cheese <laughs> I got this sriracha gouda upside down oh wait no sriracha gouda jalapeno smoked gouda like delicious I got those two, and then I got another jalapeno smoked gouda. So I'm making a family friend a little gift basket for something. So I said in the store how I got them a cheese board from Etsy that has their last name on it. So I wanted to throw in some cheese. So I feel like this is a good one to throw in there. And then also the garlic cheddar. So I got two of these, one for them, and one for me, I cannot wait for that. And then I also heard from one of my friends that this espresso one is so good. That's what made me wanna to go to Grandpa's Cheese Barn because she was saying how delicious it was and she put it on her cheese board for Easter and everyone was saying how amazing it was that was at the party. So 
got two of these and then one for them and one for me so see it's not all for me and then i think i'm gonna give them one of these and then I got some mini Ohio Buckeyes. These are delicious. I think I'm going to make my peanut butter cookies again and put these in the middle. Like that will be so stinking cute. And taste so much better than the little mini Hershey Kiss. Like I feel like that would be just perfect. And then I got some Asiago and garlic cheese spread. I see the, I see the word garlic. I buy it. <laughs> Love garlic. And then I got some mustards, which I never really put mustards on my cheese boards. No reason why, I just never really have it or buy it. So I stocked up, cause I love when there's mustard on a cheese board. Like dipping the cheese in mustard is so good if you like mustard. But I got the sweet mustard, the roasted garlic mustard, and this jalapeno mustard. I haven't had any of those before. And then they had some miniature ones too. So I got, so I got two champagne mustards. I thought to put a mini one in the gift basket and then I had to try one too. And then, oh shoot, I meant to get, I meant to get two sweet hot, sweet and hot mustards, but I got three of the champagne. But the little minis are really cute. Okay, we have to try one of them. So I think, let's try this dip with some wheat thins. The garlic asiago. Sounds very good. And then tomorrow I'm doing a paint class with my friends and we can bring snacks there. So I'll cut up one of those che cheeses and bring it. Um, I don't know which one I'll bring. I got lots of spicy ones. <laughs> Sriracha one I, I feel like sounds really good and maybe the garlic cheddar. Maybe even some of this. And this might be too hard to eat while painting. More like messy. Wow, mm. that is so good. It kind of tastes like Alfredo sauce, but like in a dip. <gasps> I'm really I'm kind of regretting not getting another dip because they had a bunch of different dips, like a bacon and cheddar one, a port wine, a cheese one, a whole bun. Mm. It is so warm out. I just was laying out there for a little bit and I can't stop thinking about cheese. <laughs> I'm going to cut this one open too and try it because I'm doing the paint and wine class with my friends tomorrow. I'm gonna cut this one open because I was gonna bring it to painting night tomorrow. So I'm gonna just open it now and get it cut up for tomorrow. And I'm excited to do the paint class. So it's a painting with a twist. So you could bring your own snacks and your own wine. And it's a three hour class and I'm painting Hershey. So we're all painting our own animals and I was deciding like should I do Hershey or Mochi? But since Hershey's my first child, I feel like I should do Hershey. And just she has like more design on her face with like the little brown eyebrows and the brown chest. So it might be more fun to paint. I don't know, they both look cute. Maybe if I do it again, this class again, I'll paint Mochi. But yeah, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Garlic cheddar. That is so good. Wow, that's amazing. I don't really taste garlic that much, but I feel like my garlic, <laughs> like my garlic taste buds are up to here because of how much garlic I usually use. So, okay, we are doing the Sriracha Gouda. I am dying to try this. I feel like I maybe bought this one other time I went to Grandpa's Cheese Barn, but I don't really remember, so. Okay, now let's try this one on a wheat thin. Mmm. That is so good. The other one is super creamy, and so is this one, but yeah, that does have a little bit of spice to it. Those two would like be really good together. So I'm gonna just throw these. Ooh, yeah, that's got a kick. Okay, I think I'm also going to cut up some of this jalapeno smoked Gouda. And I wanna compare and see what the spice level is in this one. This one has like, you know, like the rim on it. The rhyme. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
I think you can eat that. Okay, the last one I am opening and trying. Mmm, wow. I love smoky cheese. I'm just like mixing these all together. <laughs> That's really good too. It's very smoky. Has a lot of that jalapeno flavor. Mm. Okay, perfect. I feel like that's like a good amount of cheese for us. Because we also will have meat and we're going to be busy painting. <laughs> it's just like a little snack. That is really good. I don't know which one is my favorite. I honestly like them all equally. I'd maybe say the garlic cheddar one is my favorite just because I feel like it's very soft. But they're all good. Mm-hmm.